form of music, they say, has disturbing satanic overtones. It's called black metal music and encourages devil worship and the desecration of churches. That was surreal. Still 50 fucking copies, man. We've been 
receiving a lot of fan mail recently at Hilvete. You know the record store that I own. Uh, I was thinking I would send some your way tomorrow. Life is suffocating. Tiny little boy is playing with the gun. He blows his head up, isn't that a lot of fun? Honestly, Weiston, we should reconsider our plans to tour. What the fuck are you trying to imply? That you don't give a shit about him at all? Huh? You also want him to live so the band goes on a fucking tour? You are a power-hungry moron. You know what? You better leave or I'll stab you in your fucking gut. Fucking man-child. In the deep reaches of our planet's sky, a celestial ballet unfolds. A phenomenon both mystical and awe-inspiring. Imagine curtains of vibrant light swirling across the night canvas, painting an otherworldly spectacle that has captured the imagination of humanity for centuries. This is the Aurora Borealis, a cosmic dance that ignites the sky with hues of emerald, crimson, and sapphire. Join me as we embark on an exploration into the enigmatic world of the Northern Lights. From the science display to the folklore and ancient myths that are intertwined with it, we'll journey through the veils of time and space, unveiling a tapestry woven with wonder and scientific marvel. Moreover, we'll explore the sobering reality of its vulnerability to the threats of our modern world. The Aurora Borealis, a symphony orchestrated by nature, inviting you to witness its ethereal beauty and ponder the delicate balance between human progress and the preservation of Earth's natural wonders. For centuries, the Aurora Borealis has been an enigmatic dance in the night sky, captivating the souls of civilizations across the Northern Hemisphere. Its documented history traces back to early observations by ancient cultures. The ancient Greeks, notably Aristotle and Theophrastus, referred to these celestial displays as northern lights, attributing them to fiery phenomena in the northern atmosphere. In the 17th century, astronomer Galileo Galilei proposed the term Aurora Borealis, recognizing its connection to the Roman goddess of dawn, Aurora, and the Greek term for the north wind, Boreas. However, indigenous peoples across the Arctic region have long held deep cultural significance for these lights. Inuit tribes saw them as spirits playing ball with a walrus skull, while the Sami people of Scandinavia believed they were the souls of the departed, expressing joy in the afterlife. Myths and legends shroud the Aurora Borealis in mystical tales that traverse cultures and time. In Norse mythology, the shimmering lights were believed to be the armor of the Valkyries, warrior maidens who guided fallen soldiers to... brought forth unto this world with nothing, and with nothing we depart. So I commend this body to the ground with loving remembrance, earth to earth.